Stan Jabalisco here to explain and define the term circular polarization when it comes to antennas. A lot of people are confused by that notion. I'd like to clear that up if I can. What do you see behind me, by the way, is my 20 meter single band vertical antenna which deals with my home station down in the nerd cave capacitively loaded at the base but notice the element runs vertically up and down. Generally speaking the polarization of an antenna runs parallel to the radiating element. It coincides with the orientation of the electric lines of flux in the electromagnetic field. If I were to string say a a dipole antenna from the deck right there out to the tree back there and run it perfectly horizontal and suitably tune and load it. Well, even if I didn't suitably tune and load it, if it were perfectly horizontal, the polarization from that antenna would be horizontal polarization. The electric line, lines of flux in the electromagnetic field would again run parallel to the radiating element and be straight lines all running horizontally until they encountered some object that discombobulates that polarization and one sub such object is the ionosphere of the earth when you send a wave up into the ionosphere and it comes back down at somebody else's station 5,000 miles away this vertical antenna will not necessarily produce a vertically polarized signal at the receiver, nor would that dipole running from my deck here out to that tree back there, if it were perfectly horizontal, suitably loaded or not. Nor would those waves be horizontally polarized. They would go all over the place because they, the ionosphere disorients linear polarization Linear, 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 <laughs> linearly polarized radio waves and makes them what you might call chaotically polarized. But there's a third type of polarization and it's called circular polarization. What does that mean? It means that the electric lines of flux rotate at a constant intensity and at a constant angular speed as they propagate through space. As a wave propagates away from you, think of yourself as my antenna. And think of me and all the great Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of Amateur Radio beyond outer space or the atmosphere or wherever. The signal goes from you out the polarization rotates as you go out, making one complete 360 degree rotation for every wavelength that the signal travels through space. That polarization is called circular polarization if the intensity of the field remains constant and the rate of rotation remains constant. One 360 degree rotation for every wavelength that the signal travels through space. If that wave appears to rotate clockwise as it moves away from you, if those electric lines of flux seem to go around clockwise, then you have what's called clockwise circular polarization. Duh, right? Well, not quite so duh, because from the point of view of the receiver and the, the great beyond, it's exactly the other way around. It would look counterclockwise. Similarly, if the wave seems to rotate clockwise, pardon me, counterclockwise, as it goes away from you into the great beyond, the ionosphere and the galaxies and quasars and other universes past th those, then you have counterclockwise 
circular polarization. Clockwise circular polarization is sometimes called right-handed circular polarization. And counterclockwise circular polarization is sometimes called left-handed circular polarization. But in either case, once again, the intensity of the electric lines of flux remains constant and the rate of rotation remains constant, making one 360 degree turn around for every wavelength through space that the signal gets farther from you. We call it circular polarization not because the electric lines of flux are circles. They're still straight lines, but they rotate. Stangibilisco W1GV saying 73 for now and so long until whenever.